Auditing Transport Layer Security Settings Transport Layer Security, or TLS, is a cryptographic protocol that can be used to ensure data security during network transit by encrypting the traffic between server and client computers. TLS supersedes SSL and should be used in newer developments, but the operating system and application server compatibility should also be taken into consideration before disabling specific versions. Before enabling TLS 1.2 or 1.3 and disabling the older protocols on your computers, it is important to verify that all systems support TLS 1.2 or 1.3, which is the latest version at the moment. Windows 11 and Server 2022 currently supports the most recent version of TLS, which is TLS 1.3. For backward compatibility, Windows operating systems also enables the older versions of TLS by default, which includes the vulnerable early TLS versions. For effective security, we need to disable the early TLS versions and leave only the recent and secure versions enabled, so the OS and applications will be forced to use the secure versions if they support it. As we can observe in the table, Windows 7 and Server 2008 have the secure TLS 1.2 disabled by default. That means we will need to enable TLS 1.2 and disable the early TLS versions for these operating systems. The sections in red denotes the TLS versions that are currently not supported by the operating system. TLS 1.3 is the most recent version, but it is currently supported on only Windows 11 and Server 2022. We can use group policy to perform a bulk update of the TLS settings on all non-compliant systems in a domain. It is important to group the TLS GPO policies by system type due to the settings difference in various versions of Windows. To review the enabled TLS cipher suites in the most recent updates for Server 2019 and Windows 10, we can open PowerShell and type the get TLS cipher suite command. The results can be compared with the Cypher Suites order on Microsoft's TLS documentation page below. You can visit auditlytics.com to learn more about this topic and also enroll for the Auditing Windows Server Active Directory Security course.